Thank you, Cody. Now, Toastmasters, who have been with the Toastmaster organization for a while, will have a better understanding of what I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to also bring along you folks that are, who are just starting Toastmasters. Now, there is a principle that I will give to you for free. It's called the sausage principle. Everyone loves eating sausage. But if you actually knew how it was made, you may not like sausage nearly as much, which leads us to the Toastmasters paradox. So, public speaking is the sell. This is what Toastmasters tries to give you on the first day. You will no longer be fearful. You, Brad, will smile largely and protrude your lips this way to make a smile. Add a kid, nice. That's what we're talking about <laughs> with the Toastmasters. Confidence. Be fearless. Public speaking. However, there is one thing that gets in the way of this. The Toastmasters DCP point system, which is the Distinguished Club Program. Basically, this is what I have been having to enjoy for the last year as an area governor, is trying to encourage clubs to do speeches, add members, get competent leader manuals like Cody was doing today, because you want to get points. However, I'm going to teach you today how the system actually works, how you can game the system by cleverly making sure your club does some things, and more importantly, if you want to be an area governor because you need it in order to become a DTM, uh, you're going to need to listen closely because I'm going to teach you how to do it without making a lot of work for yourself. Okay, so what do we got here? The DCP system means you need two people to do a competent communicator manual, then two more. Each of these is a point. You want to get up to about eight points or ten points to be President's Distinguished, which should be a cakewalk for you guys, but we'll get there. Okay? AC, this is advanced manuals, so people that are speaking in, above the CC. CLs, super simple. Basically, just be a Toastmaster, write it down, and you get a CL, mostly. Add four members, and then four more, which is eight. You guys had 42 last term. <laughs> Minimum of... Four people getting trained. Basically, if you're an officer, you should do this. Otherwise, I will find you. And then one membership renewal report. Basically, just make sure you submit your numbers. Easy, easy. Seems very vanilla at this point. You might be thinking, Bo, I know this. I can read. I see it in the manual. But what does it actually mean when I'm smoking this principle? If you had to look at the entirety, OK? We're talking about everybody in the district, so District 4 is one of the largest districts in all of Toastmasters outside Asia, just because of the fact that they got population density or whatever. In the United <laughs> States, District 4 is massive. We cover from the top of San Francisco all the way to, to Monterey. It's so big, actually, that we have to split the district into two in the next couple of years. So this is something to consider. What, what, wait, how many clubs do we have? We have 270 clubs that comprise all of District 4. There's 13,325 members you could find anywhere at any time in the area. But that just doesn't quite give you the real picture. The DCP system looks a bit funky. Let me give that in for you a little bit so you can actually see. That is what an entire, your entire area looks like when, on the back end. As an area governor, honestly, I don't care about what you do in your clubs. All I care about are you putting numbers here. Give me two CCs. Give me another CC. Give me more members. And make sure if you have a friend that wants to start a club, I want to talk to you. Because the DCP system is perverse in its ability to try to continuously tout growth of club numbers, growth of doing speeches out of manuals versus actually trying to build quality Toastmasters. And I'm going to explain this to you by using your own numbers, which is freaking awesome. Okay. <laughs> your report card sucks, I have to be honest. And I'm going to put it out there and I'll show you why. Okay. Not only are Golden Gate Toastmasters the biggest club out of the entire district, the 13,325 you just saw, the 270 clubs, you are club number one when it comes to membership. You are club number not one <laughs> when it comes to DCP points, all right? But it's, I think it's mostly down to the fact that you haven't reported it yet. But these two are jokes. These are your CCs. As long as you're doing a CC 10, you do four of those within a term, 
it's easy. We'll get there. I even show you the data analytics of how to choose because we're getting. I'm just trying to butter you up, understand what you're talking about. Okay. So what's the big deal, bro? Well, one doesn't simply become president's distinguished. Okay. So this is your guys. This is you. Okay. And here's the rest of your crew. Because you have so many members in Golden Gate Toastmasters, remember, I've been here since 2008, okay? This has not really changed a lot over that time. Um, you have four clubs, which basically means anytime you do an area contest, it's pretty much whoever GTGM sends, we get. Okay? <laughs> Marshmallow clubs, <laughs> game masters, it sounds like, a, like an Annie Persprin. Post of the day, whatever, right? But look at them, look at them. Two, five, how does Baymasters almost have more points than us? They're right on our tail. It's because of the perversion of DCP. Let me show you an actual, like, here, here's my club. Just so you guys don't feel bad, this is the area I manage, okay? You could combine, like, all these points and just barely make a President's Distinguished Club. Three of these clubs, all suspended on my turn. Three of six. You might be thinking, Oh, that sucks, bro. Right? Yeah. Well, it does suck. Okay? For a lot of reasons. <laughs> All right. The DCP doesn't just apply to the club. It applies to the area and applies to the division. So Division E, right? Well, the largest you have. There are, I believe, four or five areas within Division E. Okay? I have to go back to the thingy, but I forgot the keystroke for it. Doesn't matter. Okay. You need to have everyone pay in every area, okay? At least 80%, okay? Otherwise, the area doesn't get their DCP, and then you don't get it. I think your timer's off, bro. Okay, so, because it should be 8 to 10. What'd you, what'd you put it out? Oh, I put 7. No! <laughs> okay, so, uh, that, that's a thing to consider when you're becoming an area governor, because if you only have, like, 5, and most of yours are, are like this, no problem. You just gotta talk to three people to get to pay, right? When you're talking about mine, I got six, right? And they're all corporate clubs, which is something to consider. Let's get to the actual numbers, so that way you guys can nerd out with me and kind of get some Excel goodness, okay? <laughs> if you're looking to ever consider being in the area or above, your life is about numbers and not people, which sucks because that's the point of the DCP system is trying to continually make growth happen so Toastmasters makes more money, okay? So remember, the idea is, I wanna be a better Toastmasterer, right? Great, no problem. As long as you pay, as long as you're doing CC manuals, as long as you're doing CL, as long as you're doing training, and maybe you wanna be a club officer, good points for the crew, right? <laughs> so uh, just as comparison, Golden Gate Toastmasters, as a club by themselves, you, this is one thing that is pretty critical that I did not do when I said, I will be the toast, the area H4, is number of times people meet per month, right, two, how, uh, how, many, how many speeches are possible within a, a given uh, period, so how many can we actually do in a meeting, and how many are possible per month, okay? How many actual speeches can be accomplished within one six month term? Golden Gate has 96 you could possibly get done, because four a night, every week, for six months, no problem, right? Obviously, caveat, grain of salt, whatever. Okay, number of hours in the meeting, how many members, and then here's one that I like, which is the ratio. How many members to how many potential speeches, which means every single member in Dolan at Toastmasters should at least do one speech in every six months. Tactically a bad decision, because you want to make sure to get at least four CC, and at that point, people can do whatever they want, doesn't matter. Uh, this is a regular area, okay? 3.4, am I actually, how am I gonna get 3.4 people to talk in a meeting when I can only do a possible two speeches? You see, you see what I'm getting at right there? That's a problem. And then how many new members do you have? Because you can see all these figures, how many are new versus uh, renewal. 42 members here, I got 60%. It means I got a huge chance of getting CCs. Big, good, that's great. It means I can tell the VPE, get Four people, put them up every single month, and then make sure I got at least these people doing speeches. Here, this means right here, if you look at it, Plain Talk only has 14% new members. It means it's almost impossible for them to get 
any CCs, unless they just sucked at doing speeches, which doesn't happen. And you can't even get everyone to speak in a whole six month term. These are figures you gotta look at when you're trying to look at an area. So, if you wanna game the system, right, and you wanna be an area governor next time, because I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but if you do, research every area in your division, okay? Look at every area, how many times they meet, how many people they are, ask a current manager to give you the numbers. They'll do it, because we do well. Do a role in your home area. If I could do this again, I would do it for E2, because at least I know generally the clubs. Make sure you have at least one solid group in there because they'll try to put a good club, but generally, you, you do a lot more work if you don't know one solid club. If you have GTTM's on there, you're fine. Uh, already know people in the area, obviously, and the less clubs, the better, because the fewer clubs in your area means you don't have to worry about DCP as much. You can focus down on just getting three or four, and who cares about the other one? Yeah, welcome to the life of the actual sausage fest that is Toastmasters. So with that, you guys, remember, Golden Gate Toastmasters, come on, I'm looking a little smiley. Get a smile, okay, there it is. Okay, so Golden Gate Toastmasters is the epiphany of what you would want in a healthy, vibrant, lovely club, okay? As far as DCP, we're working on it, but we get there. Statistically, you guys should be improbable to, to fail on that one. But it, it, it's more about putting the emphasis on the people rather than a stupid point system is what I'm trying to emphasize. So when you guys are hearing DCP, 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 whatever, okay, consider that who is talking and why they care is because of these freaking little ribbon things. So with that, I will turn it back over to you. <laughs>